again back in the workshop as promised and uh, it's Saturday morning it's uh, a dull grey Saturday morning in October and uh, uh, I've just um, need to get on with this other job which I've got here um, this is a uh, Technic stacking system which I did mention uh, twin cassette deck uh, tuner amplifier um, and uh, it has a, a Technics um, CD player as well. I've tried this um, and this all seems to be working fine. Um, the deck needs a bit of a clean up uh, and I have not tried the, the, the DVD player yet um, but it all needs a good clean up, clean the heads, um, check it and do everything there. Um, but my main problem I think is this which is the uh, Technics uh, the Technics deck so we're going to have a quick look at that it doesn't bode well um, when uh, I, I opened it up and, and there's bits of um, what I only can describe as the remains of a belt um, and uh, we'll have a look and see what's there okay, so I've taken the, uh, the plastic um, lid off and uh, one thing I noticed right away is that the someone has attempted to secure the arm, better than not securing it I suppose because the the actual locking mechanism oh it's there don't know why they did that maybe to make doubly sure so I've um, I plugged the thing in and uh, I've um, tried to start it uh, the um, strobe light is working I can actually hear a motor running but the turntable is not rotating so I guess um, I guess first of all I'll unplug it and we'll have a look to see what we've got inside so take off the slip mat put that there oh dear I can see bits of this stuff which has already fallen out which oh it's very very sticky so let's lift the platter off Should just lift off Ah, immediately the problem is visible. Um, <laughs> the belt is actually, I've never seen one quite like this before. The belt is actually totally disintegrated. Um, if we have a look down. Yeah, there ain't much left of that at all. So um, I'm going to have to order a new belt. I think they're fairly easily to come by. Let me just switch it on again and make sure it is rotating. Uh, I think certainly it will be. Oh yeah, that's going. No problem. Um, so, I would think the main problem with this is uh, cleaning it all out, hoovering it out and replacing the drive belt. So let's have a look at the, the model number of it. Oh there we are, yes it's a, a Technics um, FG Servo uh, automatic uh, turntable system uh, SL BD22 so um, I should be able to order one of those up without too much problem. I'm not sure the cost of that probably um, five to ten pounds somewhere around there but uh, not a problem um, we'll get one of those underway hello again a couple of days later and I still working on this um, this stacking this uh, Technic stacking system which is now all working just I've cleaned it up quite a bit um, and I wasn't expecting the new belt for this thing and as I showed you earlier it's all tacky and all in bits until um, until Saturday but it's arrived so just going to open it and hopefully this is the right part it's the right address anyway and there it is the new belt and what does it say I think there's a packing invoice in here and it says um, turntable drive belt for Technics SL BD22 
so it's exactly the same part and it's come in uh, plus your shipping and, and cost it's eight pounds so that's not too bad so what I have to do now um, obviously is clean all this up and I think the best way of doing that is is a, a light hoover to get all those bits out and then I'll fit the new belt and test it I always criticise people for saying Hoover when they mean vacuum, um, so apologies for that. Uh, I've just fallen into my own trap uh, using a colloquialism where one is not necessary. This is going to be noisy. I'm going to turn it on now. I tried using a lighter vacuum cleaner vacuum cleaner on this, um, but these bits were very, very sticky. The, 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 uh, ru the original rubber is completely degraded. I've never seen one go quite as bad. I'm going to clean this up a little bit now with a little bit of methylated spirits just to get it uh, clean. And um, then we'll fit the new belt. So that's all that clean. I'm just going to now move around the inside of this um, because I think that might need a bit of a clean as well. Especially the inside of that ring. Well, it's quite dirty actually. nice and shiny now. Now before I have any disasters I'm going to put the top back on this and put that to one side. Having done that I think it's time to fit the new belt so let's go ahead with this. Looks beautiful. So the first job is to fit it over here, um, make sure there's no twists in it, obviously, he says. Bringing it right across so it's fitted over the platter drive there and then um, placing it over this uh, we've then got to pull out the oh, it's incredibly difficult doing that then we very carefully have to pull out um, let me take something very fine and not sharp we have to pull out, let me get the light on it, pull out the, the, the belt from here and very gently slip it over the turntable. Now that's that done. Before I put the belt on I'm going to um, actually uh, plug it in um, again and uh, just test it to see if the turntable rotates. And it does. So yes, it's rotating. So that's absolutely fine. Let 
Right. So now I'm going to put the platter back on. I'll give that a little bit of a clean as well. Still bits of belt everywhere here. Give the platter a clean. And then um, I'll put a record on. No. Dear, oh dear, everything is dirty. This is just a test record. Hence the lack of cover. Take this off the turntable, off the stylus. A little check of the stylus, it looks fairly right, clean. So uh, that's the system all finished. Um, turntable belt fitted. Bit of stitching on the auto cue. It wasn't lowering the arm, but uh, I had to take the bottom off and cure that. But it was only a a little bit of uh, machine oil to get that sorted out and that's all working absolutely fine um, and uh, the rest of the unit is also good so let's go back and have a, a look at that and then we'll um, we'll demonstrate the whole thing to make sure that it's all working obviously just a snatch of each because of copyright reasons but first of all um, let me get back around and uh, let's go to photo first um, phone L. It's all sounding really good on phone L. So now we'll switch from phone L to uh, CD. CD all working nicely. And then to tuner. And uh, let's play on the tape. So that's going well as well. Well, that's the unit all finished. Um, uh, hopefully they'll be pleased with it. Um, it's not often you get uh, stacking units of this vintage all working. Usually the tape fails or the CD fails. But then again, it is a Technic system, so you would expect. Oops, excuse me. You would expect a, um, a decent quality from it. It has been looked after, probably not used for a number of years, but um, there it is, all working. So. Uh, um, they will be able to play their father's records on it again and tapes and uh, CDs and listen to the radio so um, it, I'm quite quite pleased with the outcome um, it looks okay in the right uh, in the right setting um, and there is a obviously a lid to go on the on the record player on the turntable rather so that's all working not a lot more to say about it really um, it's of its time um, and that time is, was good and was enjoyed by many people so now hopefully it will be enjoyed again on this uh, vintage Technic system. Thank you for watching um, I'll put the details of the model numbers and various things down below the video um, hope you liked it if you did please give me give me a like um, and uh, I will be back with you again soon thank you for watching and as always take care <laughs>